Hello and welcome to Take Time. I'm your host, Patrick Marlette, and let's talk about a brand that's truly inspired. Today we're talking about a new product from one of my favorite watch accessory groups, and that group is Havston. And that's not to say that I wear their accessories most often or that I find their products of the best build quality, although in some cases they are. What I love about this group so much is that they are truly inspired, and the product I have today is the most imaginative item I've seen them produce yet. This is the Havston M12 tool watch roll bag. It's made out of a 20 ounce canvas exterior with a synthetic suede interior. And I have to say it is one of the best themed and well executed watch roll bags I've ever had. However, as with all my reviews here on the channel, I like to start with the bad and then move on to the good before giving my final verdict on a review item. But before I go into the review, I did want to talk about one more thing, and that's Havston's packaging. Their packaging is second to none. I think they provide the best opening and unboxing experience amongst any other watch group or watch accessory group. Hands down, I really love how they send their products to you. And you know, unbox therapy might not be for some, but I do love opening new products. It's just pleasant. And when the experience is enjoyable, it almost inevitably ends to me enjoying the product that much more. And Hafson did a really great job here. So inside the box, you're obviously gonna receive this guy and some parchment paper flattened out. You're also gonna receive a personalized note thanking you for your purchase, or in my instance, uh, thank you for being the best review channel on YouTube, yeah, wow, guys, you're so kind. Alex, stop. Um, very, very, a lot of sweet nothings sent my way. Also, you'll receive a little instructional on how to use your product. They send this with all of their merchandise. I'm sure it's very much appreciated. I appreciate it as well. And under all of this paperwork is a little flyer regarding the inspiration that went behind the construction of this tool watch bag. And that inspiration actually stems from World War II because this bag is modeled after a tool roll that was for military purposes, the M10 and M13 bags, which is just awesome if you're interested in design at all. As a matter of fact, that that's sort of what draws me to watches in general. I love good design and I love good design features. And to hear about what inspired the details of an item is very cool. And they actually do uh, tell you a little bit of the history of these tool watch rolls on their site. And of course, I'll leave a link in the description so you can view this watch roll on their website as well and read some of that information. But again, that's what you get in the box awesome experience. Thank you guys for sending it my way. By the way, this was a gift to the channel, so take any of my opinions today with a grain of salt, but if you've been following along, you'll know I'm pretty honest when it comes to my reviews, so why don't we start with some bad notes. Now, for stating that this is a compact item on their website, in my opinion, it's pretty thick for only fitting up to four watches. You can only fit four watches in this tool watch roll, and as you can tell by the design of it, there's always gonna be a little hollow in the central area, and that just expands the case more so than it needs to be. You see a little bit of what I'm talking about here. There's one watch, two watch, three watch, and four watches stowed in this bag, and due to the way this bag was designed, how it rolls over on itself and creates this sort of triangular form, there's always gonna be a little gap in that central area. So it takes up more space than necessary, more space than necessary for four watches that is. And the canvas uh, exterior and suede interior is rather thick. So again, it's, it's taking up more space than necessary. Those all are good qualities, but it's gonna take up more space in your travel bag or just in storage than necessary. And on that note, if you're looking for a roll bag for storage, this is definitely not the most practical one. I wouldn't say that this is a practical roll bag. It wasn't meant to be. As with most of their items, it was supposed to be designed for a task, for a purpose, with a certain aesthetic, and this accomplishes that. So I can't take too many points away from it being on the larger scale for only four watches, that is just something to note. Now the other issue I have with this roll bag is actually looking at us dead in the eyes, and that's this plate and stud system for the bag. Now, it works great at enclosing your watches and it's very secure. The only issue I've had with it is actually, and even with the instructional, <laughs> 
replacing it onto the bag. It's, it's very easy to pop out. They recommend using two fingers to remove it, but placing it on the bag can be difficult sometimes, depending on how many watches are actually in your roll. And also just the placement for the stud sometimes doesn't snap into place um, immediately um, because it will the stud itself will sink into the bag as you're trying to push the plate on it. I find that you need to get your fingers under the canvas and push up on the stud whilst placing the plate on the stud to get it to snap in place more comfortably. Uh, you can just you can hear it snap there. It wasn't secured up until I did that, and I've never had the bag unfurl on me in any situation, so you know it's it's not awful, but you do need to develop a way of closing this, and that learning curve is kind of silly you know it's not it's not the end of the world, but it is just something that you're going to have to develop as you use this bag, but once you get it down, you can hear it snap in place again um it it works great at holding your watches. My little <laughs> my little Havston bag person over here. Um, so far as those bad notes are concerned, those were all the bad notes I had about this roll bag. It's actually it's actually really awesome, and I've had an amazing time with this bag. Again, it's just the scale of the bag itself and the enclosure that bother me. Um, not too frequently anymore as I've gotten used to closing it, but that again is something you'll develop. Um, other than those things, I find this bag to be amazing. So why don't we roll into our good notes. As I mentioned off the top of this video, this is a military inspired tool bag and they execute on that theme so well. I've never received a Hafsen item that I didn't feel like they delivered on a solid theme well. And the execution, the overall look here, and how it holds your watches is just perfect. I feel like this could have been military issued. And I, I, I wonder if my, my dad was in the Navy for 25 years. I'll have to talk to him to see if he has any sort of roll bags lying around because I'd love to compare the quality with an you know, actual military grade item, but um, I find that this is a fantastic tool watch roll. As I mentioned, that enclosure is nice and tight when on the bag. And of course, when you pop it off, you uh, you immediately see a beautiful embossed Hafston logo. But not only that, in numbered order, all of your watch slots. And the best part about this bag is the fact that it is tall enough and big enough to fit, I believe, up to 46 millimeter in width watches, and you can have the world's thickest arm, and your straps will more than likely fit inside of this bag. As a matter of fact, you can only see my MN strap and a longer Perlon strap I've purchased sticking out of the tops of these enclosures. And that 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 is the perfect, this thing is huge, by the way, that is the perfect amount of space for your watches. I really love how these were cut out. This thing is so big, I might just use the main cam to show off some of the features here, but um, what is my biggest watch in here? I think my biggest watch is my 6138 UFO, and I have that right here. And you can see it fits in that slot perfectly. Can you, can you see it? This is really creepy, isn't it? Yeah, right there fits perfectly, does a fine job of holding the watches in place. And the other thing I wanna mention, it's something that came up in my last roll bag review, was stowing watches with bracelets. I have two watches in there right now with bracelets. The technique I've developed for doing this, and I've never had a case back get scratched in a roll bag, that's just, that's just never happened for me. Maybe I'm lucky, but how I normally stow my bracelets is as such. So this is a Stelic style Uncle Seiko bracelet I have here. And what I like to do when I'm tucking a watch into a roll bag that has a bracelet is find out which way the bracelet fits most comfortably against the case back. That's to say, sometimes these clasp will add their dimensions will add uh, kinks or notches in the chain that will you know make the chain fit loosely on the case back so you might have to experiment in which way it fits alongside the case back but i find that if you do this and have it flush against the back 
before pressing it in to the slot, there is no space for the bracelet and the watch head to rub up against one another, um, especially if you have a proper roll bag. In this instance, we have spaces that are really tight. It's gonna hold those two things together and make sure they don't rub against each other and create any sort of abrasions, scratches, or any markings on the back of your watch. Packing your watches in like that is helpful. Actually, I actually have another example here with the Juno I have, and I'm told it's pronounced Juno, this American brand. But the Juno I have is tucked in at slot one, and you'll actually see what I'm talking about here. You'll notice how the bracelet, the bracelet is flush against the back. If I were to go this way, uh, not so much because of how the clasp rests against the other end of the bracelet. So just find out which way it will rest comfortably alongside the back of your watch head and then slide it into the roll. Now I've been stowing this Janot in roll bag since I've received it, namely this Hafston roll bag behind us here. And it's done a phenomenal job of keeping the watch securely in place, but also the bracelet securely in place alongside the back of this case. And as you could tell there, there aren't any scratches on the back of my watch case. Again, I've been using roll bags for over two years. I find this method works best at stowing. If you're very uncomfortable stowing your watches in a roll bag, uh, like so, like this, if they have a bracelet, you can just put a business card you're not using anymore or any sort of construction paper between your watch and the bracelet, and it should be enough protection for your case back. We all have business cards lying around that we're not using. Just, just find a use for them here. So we have a roll bag that's made out of canvas in the exterior, so we know it's gonna be durable and easily cleaned. And we have a nice suede synthetic interior, which is soft to the touch and perfect for all of your watches. If your watch is a precious metal, you shouldn't have to worry about it in this roll bag. Not only that, we have a roll bag that's extremely spacious for four watches. Again, 46 millimeters and under. My UFO is roughly 44 millimeters in width. That was the Seiko chronograph you saw a second ago. And my King Seiko that's in there, that's roughly 36 millimeters. They all fit in here perfectly and roll up neatly. And the thing I love most about this bag is the fact that each one of these is handmade. So right now it's roughly $79.85, right around $80 with worldwide shipping. Um, that's just the launch price, but the fact that you can get a well-made roll bag that's handmade with thick canvas, uh, awesome suede interior that fits all your watches comfortably like this for under $100 is really good value for money. In short, the Hafston M12 tool watch roll is simply badass. There's no other way to put it. I love the military-inspired theme that they execute so well on with each product, and I love the fact that they care about the presentation. A lot of groups let that fall by the wayside, but it's important to me to have a full experience, and Hafston delivers every time. I think at its current price, it is a great deal. So if you guys are looking for a canvas roll bag to stow up to four watches, this is a great way to go. Now gang, if you found this video insightful or in the least entertaining, feel free to hit that like button. It looks a little something like this. If you have friends, forums, or groups that were interested in picking up a canvas roll bag, well maybe share this video with them. I don't know of many competitors that do the same thing. If you know of any groups that are creating military themed watch roll bags, let me know, or just canvas roll bags because I'd love to get more in. I love the idea of using canvas instead. These just, these kick around so much better than leather. I mean, I have a distressed leather roll bag that's looking more distressed by the day. What's nice about this is they're actually really easy to clean. If they pick up dust or hair, it's just like having anything in canvas and it's extremely convenient. So if you guys know of any roll bags like this one, let me know. But if you want to share this with someone who is looking for one, feel free to do so as well. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. I do videos like this twice a week, so if watch content is your thing, well, this is a good place for you. Also, if you want to see my videos precisely when they come out, you can do so by hitting the bell icon next to the subscribe button. Again, my name is Patrick Marlette, and thank you for the time.